everyone, welcome to the Angry Astronaut Gamer. Uh, we are continuing our playthrough with Immortals of Avium. Uh, really fun game, actually. Especially if you're looking for a first-person, story-driven action shooter that's in a magical fantasy landscape. Uh, so far, the story's been pretty good. I won't go into it, really, a recap it. You can just watch the last episode. But if you like this game, if you like this content, like and subscribe share all that good stuff if you um have any other games you want me to play that's like more on the sci-fi place I, I will dabble in some fantasy on this channel but i really want to stick to mostly sci-fi uh, let me know uh there's definitely a lot of games in my inventory that is still inventory in my steam library that i still haven't uh touched yet all right so i forget yeah we were had this dude and what were we doing we we're doing something we need to get to the other side somehow Go, buddy. Constructor, sick him.
Smart guys. So smart. Okay, let's look around for stuff to steal. Tower. That was a fun battle, except for like the end part where I forgot how to play. Journal. Memoranda for Karth Rende, Private Corps of Engineers. Subject Entrenchment Standards. Entrenchment layout should encourage the best tactical defense possible per geographical situation. Digging trenches to draw images in the earth and express your inner creative muse is not an appropriate use of your time. Alright, cool. Well, we got it. Sounds like, uh, well, never mind. I don't want to lose, lose any subscribers now. Uh, let's see. Destroyed. Okay, cool. We are full up on everything. And now, let's see what happens when we go in here. Starting to worry about you, sir. The airship won't be bothering us again. But the hand wasn't aboard, so keep your eyes open. What's your position? Cleared out the tower courtyard. Heading up to the top. Stay put. I'm almost there. Yeah, well, I, I don't see an off switch on this lift, so. Stay put. They literally can't. I bet I'll have to fight something as soon as I get up here. Going in. We're gonna get yelled at for that, but it's character development. I like that there's a lot of like uh, control stations. That's cool. All right, let's do this thing. This guy. Show yourself, font of Yonkar. 
I draw you forth through the power of Thradako, the Binding Stone. We've got a problem. What is it? More like who? Sandrax here. What? Hold your position. I'm on my way. He'll be gone by then. That was an order, Initiate. Say again? I'm losing you. You do know I can just see you waving your hand around, right? <laughs> He's like, I can take on anyone. An immortal? Welcome, brother. Do you know who I am? Sandrak. I suppose Kirkin has poisoned you against me by now. She didn't have to. Your men killed my family. Did they? I have no memory of that. A great many people have died in this war. Would it comfort you to know that I'm close to ending it? Don't turn your back on me! Oh, I was about to say, where is that person? Send him to his family. Wow, call me brother and then send me to my family. I need more time to finish this. Let me give you a hand. Hey, stop! Oh no. Turning my boy against me? And making him feel oh, big too.
is this place? Wait, Whoa. this is the shrouded realm. Can I command man that thing? Uh oh. Is that the Pentasod? I can't shoot it. You don't see me, dude. Get out of here. Sandrak and the Hand vanished when I arrived. He cast some kind of spell. I, I tried to stop him. You were supposed to wait for me, Initiate. The Ley Line, he, he absorbed it. I don't understand. I saw something. Saw what? When his spell was cast, I, I left m my body. I, I went somewhere else. I said two stuff going too. I saw the pentasod. It, it's alive. Something tells me they're not gonna believe him. So this dude's absorbing all the mana to become like a god, probably. Cool. Can't wait to fight that. And we lost our little guy, though, too, our little rock dude. We had to kill him. We had to put him down, man. It's like when your dog bites you. No, I'm just kidding. I would never put a dog down if it bit me. I would just bandage the bite and disinfect it. And I don't think I have a spell for we that. talk. Oh. Up there, Sandrak referred to me as a brother. And not like, oh, hey, look, it's another Magnus, but more like... Like someone from his order. Exactly. Complicated subject. One I'm not going to get into here. You're not going to explain how Sandrak is an immortal. Was. You're not going to explain how Sandrak was an immortal. Thought I made that clear, Initiate. That's something Kirkin will talk to you about when she thinks it's right. I fought long and hard to become an immortal. Getting blindsided that Sandrak's one of the alumni, the guy who bombed my home, I might add, is more than a little uncool. That's true. Wait, what? Really? Yes. You should have been told. I know what he did to Saren. Everyone does. But it wasn't my call. I should just go. Wait a minute. Listen. About your vision. Of the Shrouded Realm. I wanted you to know something. Yeah. The Pentasod. It is alive. All we ever see here, in this world, in our world, is only the physical manifestation of its true form in the Shrouded Realm. In Kalthus, our mystics say this form visits them in dreams in the winter. In other parts of Avium, prophets, saints, madmen, have all claimed to have seen it at one time or another. So I'm a saint, is what you're saying? I just wanted you to know that you're not- And I'm not special? No worries, sir. Kirkin lets me know that all the time. Can you ever shut up? I'm saying you don't have to feel alone, Jack. I don't want you to feel like you might become a pariah. People that have visions of the Pentasod sometimes fear that. So you're going to start calling me Saint Jack is what I'm hearing. You're impossible. You're impossible Saint Jack. Give it a whirl. Don't forget that saints usually end up dying in horrible ways. <laughs> all right. I'll meet you back at the Palathon. Sandrak absorbing a ley line isn't something we're even remotely prepared for. Kirkin will be eager to talk. Great. Okay, so I need health. And of course, no health crystals. But I think I also like leveled up too. Check my uh No not setting, this is a character now. Dude, I forgot everything, man. Uh here we go. Uh talents there. How much 
much ascension points. I'm just the one. Okay. Oh, it's based on like, well, that's cool. Did I get one of those? Okay, so I must have got more gear because it's saying that I got stuff that I haven't seen yet. Ooh. Oh, it's equipped, okay. Oh, so it like automatically equips like the best, the best stuff. Rainstorm stars. Oh, so it's I'm going to. Okay, I guess here. Oh, so I can craft this stuff. Or buy them. Alright, so I'm a little confused on how this works, but let's see the spells here. Storm Shard, that's what I currently have, I believe. Yeah. Maelstrom. I really like Green Magic spell that launches rapid fire. Homing projectiles, but slows movement. 
Oh, cool. So it slows movement as you. Very accurate homing projectiles. Let's see that medium ranges that fast between targets. That's also cool. Frag fire and breach fire. I mean, yeah, I think out of all the fire ones, I do like the frag fire the most. So let's definitely get a frag fire. Red sigils, we want crimson frag fire. Here we go. Okay, I'm not that far off. Can I deconstruct something that I'm no longer using? literally called the Palatine. What are you gonna do? I heard you walk right up into a whole thing. Take up a position at the table, Initiate. There's a lot to talk about. Yay, I'm a one of Any them. Of these Sounds like Zendara filled you in, sir. But I've got about a million questions. Story time, Jack. And I used to really love story time. The Shrouded Realm is a world of raw, untempered magic. A magic so formless and wild, it's impossible to master. Yeah, I think I've been there. Then the Pentacide came to that world and created the Fonts. Five great anchors that connected the Shrouded Realm to Avium. The Ley Lines spread out from these Fonts, traveling through both worlds, turning the Shrouded Realm's magic into a resource we could use. Like fonts, if like someone could capture the power of a Font, they'd control magic in a way that no Magnus has before. Like a living Ley Line Tower, capable of drawing magic from the very source 
capable of even redirecting it away from other Magni. Sandrak has done exactly that. We believe he's in possession of a Thrada Kull, a binding stone, an artifact that can control the fonts. So that's what I saw the hand pull out of the ruins. That's right. With it, Sandrak will eventually be able to block our access to magic completely. Then the Everwar is over. Over? As in he takes over Lucium? As in he takes over everything. Sir, respectfully and whatever, you're wrong. Excuse me? Oh boy. You said it yourself. Magic is a resource. Just because Sandrak absorbed a font or whatever doesn't mean his power is endless. It's just that it's probably ginormous. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. We can take it back and then... yourself at home. I bring you good news, sister. Peace is near. Whoa, that dude is huge. Allow me to let you witness it. A small kindness between friends. If you would have it. We were just discussing what the best response would be to your desecration of the fonts. Had you yet concluded you have none? Let us meet at Nosea to discuss the terms of your surrender. I hear now you speak for your king. So there should- Come, <coughs> chat! <clears throat> the boy does not know me. You have my word. The traditions of Aristea will be upheld. Without violence. I see a Lucium that genuinely survives this part of history. Can you? I mean, why not just discuss the terms of the surrender right there? Well, that was horrible. Course of action? He can literally just Devin, teleport to wherever you are. Make sure every last trace of them is really gone. Zandara, I need you to speak to the Watch Commanders. We're meeting Sandrak at Nosea. We're outgunned. Not outfought. Not yet. Jack, let's talk. Yeah, let's. Is Indara right? We're going to actually walk into Sandrak's trap. It's not a trap. Sandrak fashions himself after the nobility of Aristea. He'll honor the tradition of Nosea as neutral ground. Sir, I know you don't plan to surrender. Not even a little bit. We'll take him by surprise, hit him with everything we got, and hope the power of that binding stone of his is found wanting. Okay, so it's... Our trap, then. The Immortals can't let Sandrak take control of magic, Jack. We have to take our chances. Speaking of the Immortals and Sandrak, and Sandrak having been an Immortal and you never telling me, your fellow Immortal... I figured this was coming. But yeah. There's not a... I had a right to know. You recruited me the day Sandrak destroyed my home. I've been fighting against Rasharn ever since you told me... What difference would it have made? I don't know, but how do you benefit by constantly keeping secrets from me? You could have told me about the fonts long before any of this. You could have told me how using magic destroys the world before training me. I you joined the army, Jack, not the academy. You only needed to know what helped you in the field. I don't feel that's a good enough answer, sir. I'm sure you can live with it for the time being. If we survive Nosea, we can talk about it again. Now, a few pieces need to fall into place for this ambush to work. I need you to take this to Captain Selko. A portal stone? Any message to go along with it? Selko will know what to do. You'll find him in Lordsfell along with a battalion of our soldiers. Understood. I'll head out now. Get some lore. Yeah, 
this dude. What the heck are these things? The Gurk Guruks? Alright, cool. Let's do this. Do, do, do. Or should I talk to people? I want to kind of talk to them. You good? With the most dangerous man alive just strolling into the Palathon briefing room. From a thousand miles away through some spatial overlap warping spell that no one's ever seen before. I guess you're not. I'm just saying there's a lot to unpack there. Okay. I I'm gonna go. Wait, Jack, l listen. I know you have a grudge, to put it probably too lightly, with Sandrak for what he did to your home. But... But don't... Well, you know, let all that cloud your judgement when we try and... <laughs> backstab him at Nosea. There's no word, really, for the kind of... Don't worry. I'm a soldier. I won't make a move until Kirkin gives the word. That in no way lines up with your past interactions <laughs> with your superiors. Hey! I'm just saying. Rumor is you're a bit of a shoot from the hip, a bit of a bull rush. That can't happen in Nosea. I'm sorry. I really need to get it together. Foreign magics are difficult to scrub out of a breach zone on the best of days. Do you have anything nice to say? I can't even talk to you. Oh, here we go. Sir, about Nosea? Definitely not now, Initiate. Whatever plans the Grand Magnus has, I'll get them directly from her. I get the feeling you won't like them. It's... not my call. Alright, should I still talk to you, even though we just chatted? I need you to take that portal stone to Selko, Jack. Step to it. Alright, let's go. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up having to betray my own people. Like that's just the vibe I don't I'm getting. Think I have a spell for that. I don't know. Uh -huh. So, uh, Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just, if I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful, since I'm, like, part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. I looked at playing chess. Jack, Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosea. Our... Parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh-huh. See you soon. Before I do, I want to get more health crystals. Because... I feel like that's important. Dominion mana.
definitely not to the right place. I just need to fight something, man. Jeez. So I can farm equipment and like level up and shit. Good to know. Maybe I should do that before this one. Alright, Lucium. Because I got an ascension point. Red. red magic power increased by 20%. Need that. Hell yeah, dude. No see up ahead. Game face, Jack. Why didn't I just okay. use your Kamehameha? Uh oh.
look at those now that I've wasted everything. Okay, I got two. Bash your bracers. Where are you at? Bracers? Armor and melee damage. Uh, does have more armor. Let's equip it, yeah. Strike spell, fire control spell, melee is a V. What a convenient location for that. Alright, let's go get wrecked. I mean, we will do the wrecking. He's talking about how he's gonna be peaceful when he summons all these monsters on me. No, see ya. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know, this all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. That big guy. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. <laughs> I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirkham that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war. By turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Fall back! No way to kill on the <laughs> blink, man. You got a blink spell. You don't need a shield. I wouldn't hold up a shield to like 10 tons of stone, you know? Just be like squashed more neatly. Ugh. 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 Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. <laughs> No, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkhan's left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkhan's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And 
I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that! Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Yeah, I mean, that would have been good from the start. The ambush was even a shitty plan, man. It wasn't even a good ambush, you know what I mean? Like, you just brought like regular foot soldiers and like a couple spell dudes. You know he was gonna have the like guy that's like a size of three buildings. I'm probably gonna go grind honestly after this. Like I'm not ready to fight all that. The story is good. I'm not gonna lie. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same: eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does, or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Risharn. Which means Sandrak's already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts, but the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. We pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is, we just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Hmm. Sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Yeah. Devin, you're running Just support. Like calling an Uber. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna go grind because I want to level up first. Get my my skills, my talents up. See, I have an ascension point now. So, do, 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 do. this one I got, I think. Talent acquire a siphon shield. When your shield is hit, you're healed. Oh, cool. Damaging punch. Yeah. So now I damaging an enemy and with melee applies decay. So I'm applying decay and corrosion. Where's green sigil focus? You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a shroud fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nosia. 
They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell and I'll tell you where we go from there. Sir, about Orman and what's his name? Thaddeus? Were the mission parameters unclear? No, sir. I just figured some more intel never hurts. It hurts time, Initiate. Do you want to hurt time? The guy I'm looking for, our former Grand Magnus, does he really hate the Immortals? The feeling's mutual. Your job is to ignore all that and find out what he knows about the Binding Stone. It'd be so much easier to ignore if I knew what it actually was. Nice try. Sir, come on. Thaddeus was Kirkin's mentor. Sandrax too, in a way. Then he bailed on the Order for reasons you don't need to know, leaving Kirkin to fill his position when she really didn't feel ready for it. She was a huge fan of that. At least you're sending the new guy to navigate through all the complicated drama. I don't know much about Oriman. Never been that far west in any of the fighting. That's because Oriman dropped out of the Everwar a long time ago. Even before then, they remained largely neutral. Then their magical experiments cut them off from the rest of the kingdoms, and it didn't much matter anymore. Cut off how? I don't have time to give you a history lesson. Devon can catch you up. All you need to know at present is that the Oromic made it a bitch to get out to them. Hence your need to ride a ley line. And what about the Oromic themselves? What's left of them are nomads, migrating from one sky island to another in search of arcanum deposits. Also, they can be a pain in the ass to deal with when you're an outsider. All right, I'm good. Heading out. Don't fuck this one up, Initiate. Yo, come on, language. Alright, so now see a bridge. So let's like take the long way. So that we can fight some bad guys, you know. Get a little bit of leveling up. Get some money. I don't think I have a spell for that.
bad guys at. So like this game's fun. It's a, of, it's a lot of magic, a lot of blasting. Uh, you know, shoot some bad guys up. I am the fan. What do I have equipped right now? I don't wanna craft, I wanna upgrade. Uh do 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 Yeah, my frag fire.
what's this? It looks familiar. Nice. Almost didn't make that one. Why am I going this way? It's not even telling me to go this way. Check out the thing we just picked up. The gear. Alright, here. So we got the Serene Maelstrom. It's got a little bit of a better fire rate and capacity. A little less damage, but plus 10% and 10% to me. I like that, not gonna lie. It's like worth it. I forgot to get a spell, you gotta go through these like, trials. Okay.
truck and go through now. This reminds me of like a uh, Star Fox 64. When like you're testing your, like, your skills and going through the little circle things throughout the level. Okay, uh, hold. Aim the lash, then hold. Right click to pull yourself towards them. I'm basically Spider-Man now. Anywhere there's a ley line, I can just... I don't think I have a spell for that. Devin, where do I head next? I've got the spell I need to ride the ley lines. Splendid. The ley line we need to get to Oroman is close by. Heading your way, then. Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gatterond. Mix stupid ideas with bold, magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oroman. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? Uh, what's Orman like? So the Gatterond, huh? All I'd heard about Orman was that they gave up fighting in the Everwar, what, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground themselves to sand. They didn't so much give up as vanish awkwardly from the stage. What happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Orman government. They advocated for an equal ownership of magic. Not just between Magni, but among the Lightless as well. They believed that by distributing magic evenly, the world would finally be able to work towards an end to the Everwar. Imagine that, guys. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, look where it got them. I, uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers, thank you very much. Back at the Palathon, it felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject, and Zendara's very protective of Kirken. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirken, they hate each other, more or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia? The Immortals' mandate and such? Yeah. 
I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's another more deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, we don't get to ride that one. Darn. I was just getting my key in the ignition and getting ready to rev that baby up, you know what I'm saying? Like, how much horsepower do we get on these uh, ley lines? I'm trying to go like 0 to 60 and like. I could get used to that. Give me a portal any day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. Suck it Here's up, buddy. We need to get to Jack. Oh, that's fine. Jack, this is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucians, aren't you? Also, Immortals. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? N no, uh, we can die. It's just Good. like... Good. Then stay back. Hey, 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 watch it! Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Oh, that's rich, coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened, and you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity-challenged rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well... Jack? I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Ever War. Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Ormond. You... Y you don't know who Sandrak is? Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Asharn. Same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic-hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful... You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere. Started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let yeah, her go. With the Rasharnians and these chroniclers about, we really could use someone that knows the territory. I'll catch up with her and... Be nicer? Good plan. You push forward to the library and we'll meet you there. She'll come around. Okay. Let's upgrade. What do I got here? Upgrade my my green dude. 
dude. Chroniclers. can grapple over there.
game's got a lot of hidden stuff. So you gotta, I just gotta be on the lookout, you know. Lean, lean, lean. Oh, I didn't know that I could. Oh, okay. That wasn't a mechanic that was explained to me before. Gotcha. It's kind of annoying, like this isn't really necessary. Like this doesn't make the game more interactive. Cool. So much fun. That's a whole lot of lurge. It turns out, still wants nothing to do with me. Super. So she bailed again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear-shaped. By which I mean, the constructs killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my life. Copy that. Meet me at the library when you can. For my part, I'm gonna go away from this mission. Thank you. 
I got an ascension. What am I doing? I need a new spell now. Let's go back to green. Because that's what we're focusing on. Blink surge. Blink temporarily increases all damage dealt by 20% for 3 seconds. Two green adept increase green magic power. Okay, I'll hold on to the ascension ascension point then. Summoning. Whatever. I don't know things. Okay, so that's how we break them. I knew there had to be a way. It didn't make any sense. the big metal uh, nodes clears patches of it up. Good to know. Devin, I keep coming across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? I've seen it before. Constructs often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Sometimes they leak those instructions. It comes out of them like uh, metallic sweat. You mean learning? They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. The fact that there's so much, well, leakage, yuck, around here means these chroniclers have probably become very, very smart. Reach for that sentient.
action music. Special spot, little weak area. It's already saving. I'm gonna call over here because I'm not really feeling like entering another Jack, battle. Have you found the entrance to the archives yet? Ah, oh, I think so. Right behind a big ass pile of that mine metal shit. The chroniclers blocked it off. Why? How would I know? I'll try to clear a path. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm probably gonna have to fight after, right when I walk in this room. So, like, subscribe. You know all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.